I was a former professional ballerina and here are some of the worst roles I've ever had to dance. And just to make this easier and more consistent, I'm only going to explain the worst roles that I did in a classical ballet versus a contemporary ballet. So let me know if you want one of those too, because there were definitely some odd ones. Like we splashed around water. We had like white face makeup, like a clown. It was, I've, I've danced some pretty interesting roles and worn some pretty interesting costumes. Now, sadly in Nutcracker, I was never a rat, but I was a child. I was literally a kid in the Nutcracker because we didn't use like actual students in our version of the Nutcracker, surprisingly. I feel like most companies use students in the Nutcracker. But no, they had like professional ballerinas who were well into their 20s and 30s pretending to be children at like a Christmas party with their parents and some of the parents were like younger than me. So that was fun, honestly, because it was like a lighthearted role, but it was definitely strange to like pretend that some of these people were my parents. Another role that I didn't like having to do, but I did every single year that I was a professional was Act One Swan Lake Corps de Ballet. And the reason I didn't like that wasn't because it was like a bad role in terms of like feeling silly. It's just that it's a role that you had to sit on stage for so long and like pretend to be at a party. Like there's a part where you're just walking and then you grab these like champagne flutes and you're walking around and you're pretending to clap for everything and you're gesturing and you're acting. And it was fun in the beginning, but as I got older, I was like, okay, this is boring just because like it's not the most interesting part of the ballet. And you're not really like playing a character other than someone in like the court and you know you're just like sitting around for so long and then you have to dance at the very end again and it's like a really upbeat waltz at the very end so I remember having to sit and I'd get cold and I'd get like all like I don't know stiff and then I have to go up and dance and it was just was not the most fun role plus sometimes you'd have to sneeze on stage and you'd have to hold it in because you're on stage for so long literally act one is so long for no reason of Swan Lake another role I could not see stand doing was the flower waltz in the nutcracker because basically it's like two girls and one boy you've got this giant garland you're doing partnering and then you're doing your own thing then you're going back to partnering and as fun as it kind of is to just do those kinds of roles it was just so physically demanding and again there was no like character development you weren't playing a character whereas at least like in swan lake act two and four you're pretending to be a swan like that's interesting that's fun there's a lot going on the music is fun whereas the flower waltz are just like smiling nicely and there's no like depth to the character and it's just unnecessarily really difficult like I remember that was probably the hardest thing I ever had to do aside from like Swan Lake but again there's that joy in playing a character and doing something more interesting than just smiling the entire time. Now another role that I personally could not stand doing that I think is going to be controversial because it's one of the most iconic roles that a ballet dancer can do is I could not stand doing snowflakes in the Nutcracker and here's why. Now in some versions of the Nutcracker there's actual fake snow like falling from the sky or the ceiling basically and it can be very very slippery and very dangerous. Now in our version of the Nutcracker we had these little like I don't know how to explain them other than like batons with little floofy things and oh my gosh the number of times that they would fall or the feathers would fall off and then you'd slip over the feathers or someone would drop theirs. I dropped mine once during a performance. I was in the back thankfully so nobody except my mom noticed because obviously she was watching me. And again it's one of those roles that's just unnecessarily difficult and has literally no character development, no artistry behind it. You're just like a pretty prop, which is fine. It's fun to do once in a while, but I think another reason that I couldn't stand doing basically anything in Nutcracker or Nutcracker in general was because the Nutcracker was so overdone. I mean, you're doing it every single day leading up to the holidays. And sometimes we started like early November and we didn't end till like January. And I know I'm not the only dancer that feels this way, but Nutcracker music is definitely really triggering when you hear it in shopping malls and shopping centers. But anyways, this video is meant to be lighthearted and fun and you know, but I wanted to just explain some of the roles that I didn't like as much. That being said, I am so appreciative of the fact that I had a ballet career and that I was able to do what I loved. So I'm not saying like I absolutely hated what I did. I didn't at all. I loved it. But those were just some of the roles that I didn't care for as much as some other ones. So let me know if you want to see another video on the roles that I loved doing.